This is the Unagi Voyager 1, and today we're going to give it a big boy score. My name's John from Adirondack Electric Scooters, and I have been toying around with this Voyager 1 from Unagi Scooters for a few days now. My daughter got it. She needed uh, some quick transportation to get to and from the bus stop, and I suggested that she rent this. She did. She enjoyed it. I've been tooling around on it and now we're gonna talk about it. Let's get into the specs and then we'll get into my review. The Unagi Voyager 1 has two 250 watt motors that put out an average of 500 watts and a peak power of 1000 watts. That'll get you up to 20 miles per hour and 25 miles of range. It weighs about 30 pounds. It can charge up to 80% in about two hours. It's got a beautiful folding mechanism and it comes in multiple colors. This is the sea foam. There's also cobalt blue, black, and latte. You can rent these from Unagi's website for $79 a month. Okay, so now let's give this my big boy score. I'm gonna do that by rating it in four different categories. First, performance. We're gonna look at how this thing performs as far as speed, range, and braking. Number two, we're going to look at the build quality. How well is this built? Number three, we're going to look at its design and features. And number four, we're just going to go with a totally subjective category, which is the fun factor. So as far as performance goes, I was really impressed with how these dual motors could get me moving and up to a top speed in little time at all. Now, we're not talking about super fast acceleration, but it gets you there pretty quickly. The braking is good. I never felt like I was in a situation where I didn't feel like I could stop in time for an obstacle or anything like that. Now, as far as the suspension goes, there's no suspension to speak of. Your suspension is the wheels. And on smooth surfaces, it feels great. But once you start hitting any kind of bumps or anything like that, you're gonna feel it and I felt it in my teeth. Now let's talk about the build quality. This is a well-built scooter. It's very solid. It does not feel cheap at all. I did not feel at all that when I got on this uh, with my weight at about 235 pounds that I was gonna crush this thing underneath me. Again, it feels like a sturdy, high-quality scooter that I think anyone, including someone my size, could ride with confidence. Now on to design and features. Well, it obviously is a well-designed scooter. It looks great. There are no wires anywhere. Everything is pretty much hidden. It's got a beautiful LCD display in the middle. I will say, however, that the design of the handlebars, to me, is not that great because there's no place to put a phone holder. The braking system is more like a kick scooter, so it's got that fender brake, and on top of that, it's got the regenerative braking, which is good. However, I'm used to pulling on levers so that I can stop my scooter, and it took me a little while to adjust to that. The light looks great on the scooter, and overall, I think it's got a great design. Although it's lacking some of the creature comforts that you see in other scooters, I think it's perfectly fine. All right, finally we get into the fun factor. Is this a fun scooter to ride? Yeah, sure. You're going to have to think about the fact that you're going to have a limited amount of range, so you're not doing any long distance rides. Someone like me, I'm not going 25 miles on this, maybe 15 max. So I got to really think about that. You're not going to be carving up the streets or any trails on this thing because all you have are the tires for the suspension, but overall it is a fun scooter to ride. All right, so it's time for the big boy score. I'm going to be rating each of these categories from 1 to 10. We'll give us a total and that'll give us our total big boy score for the Unagi Voyager 1. So for performance, I give this a 6 out of 10. It's got a decent top speed, it's got decent power, but it's really going to suffer as far as range is concerned for someone my size. For build quality, I give it a 9 out of 10. It's built well, there's no argument there, and when you add to the fact that when you rent this, it's under warranty and they will replace it, no questions asked, that's a bonus in my book. 
for features, I give it a 7 out of 10. It could use a better suspension. It would be nice if you could put accessories on the handlebars, especially if you're thinking about buying one of these. And although the, the display looks great and is very stylish, it's a little too simple for my tastes. Finally, the fun factor. It is a fun scooter to ride. It's lightweight, so you can take it anywhere you want to go. You can take it on a train, on a bus, you can throw it in the back of your car. It's fun to ride, and I think you'll have fun riding the Voyager 1 as well. So that gives us a total big boy score of 30 out of 40 for the Unagi Voyager 1. I'm John with Adirondack Electric Scooters. Remember, when you're out riding your scooter, have fun, ride respectfully, and wear your helmet. Oh man, I don't know if I want to do that. That might be just a little too steep for me.